The issue of discrimination and ethnic racism is nothing more than a media war against China. That was said by former Prime Minister of Egypt, Esam Sharaf, who has visited China for over 50 times. He added uh, that the media war launched by the West intends to slow down China's development. What makes him say that and how does he understand the Chinese path to development? Earlier, I talked to Dr. Sharaf in an exclusive interview. Let's hear what he had to say. You have served as Egypt's Minister of Transportation from 2004 and 2005 and uh, also in your capacity as Prime Minister. You have visited China many, many times and you have a lot of interactions with your Chinese counterparts and ordinary Chinese people. What is one anecdote or one story you can share with us at this moment about your understanding of China that is different from how China or Chinese people or Chinese government government is depicted in the international press. Okay, of course, you know, I, I, I visited China. The first, the first visit was in uh, 2005 when I was Minister of Transport. And uh, uh, after I left my position as Prime Minister in 2000, from 2014 to 2019, I visited China maybe 30, 35 times. And I have a lot of stories, but let me, let me uh, select one of them. Um, I remember I was visiting Minxia, and um, uh, uh, we were uh, uh, we were allowed to to go to uh, an area where they have uh, economic houses for relatively poor people, and you have a chance. We had a chance to to visit uh, one family, one Muslim uh, uh, family, and you had lunch with them, and actually it was very very nice time and we, we talked to the people, uh, the father and grandfather and also the grandchildren. And we have a very fantastic time. Uh, and we ate, of course, lunch. It was uh, very nice Chinese food and the snacks. And, and, and uh, why I'm saying that, I have, a, I have a lot of stories, but why I'm saying that? Because I, I can say with no hesitation that I, I felt how the minority like or ethnic group like Muslims are actually enjoying their own rights there. They have um, uh, nice housing. They have um, uh, uh, actually vacation in, in Muslim uh, 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 religious occasions. Uh, and uh, they, they, they enjoy their life. So that's why I, I, I feel that this is very important for me and very important to tell the world that this issue of discrimination and ethnic uh, racism and things like that is nothing more than a media war against China. It's very interesting because you're talking about a media war. That's very strong words, you know, you, you're using there because a lot of people will say, okay, bias, disinformation, misinformation, but you're actually using the words of the media war. Why do you say that? And who who's launching this war against China? And what's their motive? Well, actually, it's, I'm saying war because it's, um, it's um, uh, have the intention of destroying, not necessarily destroying, uh, buildings or uh, or uh, even people it's destroying the capability of progression the capability of development capability of influencing the world so this is comes from the west and i can say that you know there is a say very important say in the west they say the west and the rest so the west is every everything correct everything nice everything Beautiful is from the West, and the others are not. And that's why I always talk about China and the East. East have actually civilization much, much, much older than some uh, Western countries. Mm -hmm. When we talk about China uh, as an example, uh, 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 a thousand of years ago, uh, civilization and, and uh, China they have the capability to develop and influence and things like that. So, so uh, uh, maybe maybe the, the, uh, these countries will not uh, 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 like uh, use milita military 
uh, war, but instead they used like to use the soft power or the media war and making suspicious and and try to discern. That's why I always and, and I want to use uh, now to tell now to the Chinese people just be aware of of this uh, uh, media war and uh, uh, soft power uh, influence because they they they, they intend. To, to try to stop or, as I said, to slow down uh, China uh, progression and development. Where does Egypt fit in that east-west uh, story you just told? Because Egypt, like China, also has a very long history, one of the ancient civilizations, brilliant civilizations, and yet you are kind of in the middle. Uh, if 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 I'm wrong, please correct me. So, how do you see your path towards modernization? Uh, are you going to follow the Western style? Are you going to follow the hybrid style? Are you going to follow the Egyptian style? What's the uh, what's the path forward in your eyes for Egypt? Well, it, it, as you, as you said, Egypt and China are two civilizations that actually uh, wrote a good part of the human history. Uh, Egypt. Uh, has a civilization and uh, it's rooted very deeply in the in the Egyptian characteristics. So, if 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 you if you tell me that no, as 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 uh, uh, culture and civilization, we will stick to our own characteristics. However, when we talk about buildings, about roads, we can actually uh, benefit from uh, the east and west. But when it comes to our personality, our characteristics, our our beliefs, our our uh, humankind values, that goes to the our uh, rooted civilization. And and uh, and just I wanted to make a difference. If you, you can drive a car from the west, and you can use uh, uh, whatever airplane from the east, but this is this is just. Uh, a trait type of thing, but when it comes to personality, when it comes to people, when it comes to beliefs, we have, I believe, Egypt still stick to the, its rooted civilization. So, do you also, are you also able to relate to China's desire to find a path that's suitable to China, not how other people have prescribed for China? Look, we have you know, the Western liberal style democracy, China, you have to follow a certain path, otherwise you are not considered democratic, you're not considered free, you're not considered, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, one of the, the, the more developed or more advanced countries in the world. Do you, do you relate to China's desire to hold on to its own and find its own path? Yes, of course. Uh, the, the very famous uh, uh, statement is uh, is is a socialism with Chinese characters characteristics. So it's it's a political system, but we keeping the Chinese characteristics. And and this is this is extremely important because I I am a believer in the soft power. When the, when people use the soft power and media and even arts to disturb our beliefs, our 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 characteristics. This is this is a, a very dangerous. So I, I if I, I correctly understand your question, yes, China has to to stick to its its uh, its civilization and character. And I, I, I always say tell my friends and colleagues here that when you go to China, you you feel like it's a, it's a, it's a live civilization. Yes, everything modern. But when you look around yourself, you feel you can feel that this is people are uh, 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 reflecting the, the the old civilization, and and you can feel it. You know, although there is a lot of modernization, but it does not mean that uh, that um, that uh, they they don't stick to their basic characteristics. And I I can tell you that very clearly from my discussions with my friends in China, mm. either in the people or in the uh, um, uh, Communist Party or even the government. Finally, uh, I imagine you must have been away from China for quite some time. 
uh, because of all kinds of reasons, especially the pandemic. What do you miss the most? <laughs> if you are given an opportunity, what would you like to, um, to try, to taste, to experience again the most? Yeah, actually, um, of course, I miss very much my uh, 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 visits to China. But what I, what I um, actually miss the most is, uh, is uh, of course, we have meetings and discussions and things like that. What, but what I, I miss is this uh, flavor of culture um, and, uh, and uh, discussions and learning more about the China uh, civilization and, uh, and China habits and characteristics. This is very important to me because I always have discussion with, as I said, with people, with uh, party members and with government uh, also. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 I gain a lot of, uh, because I'm very much interested in culture. So the more I know, and the more I discuss, the more I visit different places. Mm. I visited 14 areas in, in, uh, in China. You can feel different things, but one country, one country, maybe different cultures inside the country. So that's, it's, it adds to my uh, uh, general knowledge and adds to my strong belief in China. As, as uh, you, maybe you said it's not superpower by our definition, but it's a strong country. It's a powerful country that can actually serve its people and also face challenges. Whatever you call it, superpower, whatever, that's what I mean, is a strong, solid, and, and, and uh, capable, as I said, of serving its people and facing uh, 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 international challenges also. Mm. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your high yeah. praise. And uh, we do have a lot of hard work ahead and uh, uh, to deserve trust of the people like you. And I hope your wish will come true to be able to have face-to-face -face discussions with your Chinese counterparts and friends sure. once again. Thank you so much, former Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Isam Sharaf, joining me from Cairo. With that, we come to the end of this edition of The Point with me, Liu Xin, coming to you from Beijing. As always, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter using the handle Liu Xin in Beijing. On behalf of the whole team, thanks for watching. You've got the point.